Hey guys, Gus 69 from Metal Open Mind Brazil. I'm back with another video. I think my last video was two weeks ago. Didn't have much time to to make more videos, but I keep <laughs> buying a lot of stuff. Actually, my vinyl collection is now bigger than I used to have in the 80s before I sold my collection so I'm pretty happy about that I've been digging a lot vinyl lately I also have a new turntable too I have two turntables now so I can switch uh, between them so this is a contest entry for Dolphin Dale channel uh, he's doing like a CD giveaway um, and I had to jump on this but the deadline is tomorrow 14 November so hurry up if you wanna take part on this I'm very late uh, I'm sorry about that but anyway I'm here and I'm glad I did uh, I will leave uh, Dolphandale's channel link in the description below so you can go there and check for yourself the rules and the prizes so it's very simple we have to answer three questions we have to show three female artists uh, from our collection that we love we have to show three favorite eddies the famous Maiden Iron Maiden mascot and in the end we have to sh uh, do a shout out to a, ch a channel um, below 500 subscribers so I will do that for the first question uh, the female artists in the beginning of this year I did a contest entry for uh, Gary uh, form physical format rock and roll and uh, similar question uh, and I did like a 10 I picked 10 from my collection bands artists with female musicians that I love on my collection and for this one I decided to go beyond that so I'll, I'll be showing bands that I never showed on this channel but they are all very good they are uh, have all uh, female singers and the thing about these three releases all in CD they have one thing in common they were all released in the same year 2013 13 is my lucky number so <laughs> I picked those on purpose to see if I have more lucky on this one. So for this, uh, for the first one, the band's called Avatarian. Avatarian. Not sure how you guys pronounce, but for me it's Avatarian. Uh, this is a Swedish band, doom metal, very slow-paced metal with beautiful melodic voice the singers called Jenny Ann Smith very good stuff this is their debut the third uh, studio album by them uh, I put on my top 30 from 2017 and uh, they they keep going I think they have the last album was released two years ago so it's a very good band to check out, Avatarian, especially if you like Doom Metal. My second pick is a heavy metal band from US, it's called Huntress. Very good stuff, plain and simple heavy metal here, uh, the singer is called Jill Janus, but unfortunately she died in 2018, five years after this release, 
this is their second studio album they only released three albums I have them all on CD and I very like very much this band Huntress uh, they are now in a hiatus I don't know if they will replace the singer I'm not sure but uh, very good have metal bands like Warlock for instance check it out Huntress my final pick it's a band from Canada it's their third studio album and it, they are called Blood Ceremony um, another great band uh, it's the only one that I have from them uh, the singer is called Alia O'Brien very sweet voice she plays Hammond she plays flute um, sometimes they remind me like a mixture of Black Sabbath with Jethro Tull so they are very 70s uh, heavy rock influenced band and, uh, and on their lyrics uh, uh, they explore the occult, uh, sorcery themes and uh, a band from the 70s or even the 60s, late 60s they, that you can um, make like a, a parallel with them it's a band called Coven so if you know any of those bands and if you feel like them you probably like blood ceremony very good stuff so this is my first answer uh, the second answer uh, the my three favorite uh, Eddie's the famous maiden mascot drawn by Derek Riggs um, again I think two years ago I did a contest entry or a thread I, I don't, don't remember I'll leave the link here if you want to check that out uh, for um, Darcy Six Strings Night Lives and on that occasion uh, I showed my favorite six 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 the number of the beast six favorite eddies so for this one i will go beyond that and show some other favorites of mine okay so i will start with the debut album self-title uh first first time we see the eddie uh, I think um, I only got to know this album uh, many years later but in the 80s but I'm thinking how surprised uh, rock or hard rock fans were seeing this for the first time in the stars when first came out so it's very very impactant uh, very you, you don't forget you see this and you don't forget so my first pick this one I got as a gift from Aaron Muta Alamer last year and recently I got another copy but this is a Brazilian copy. This is a from the US. Uh, now I have two. I will keep both. Uh, I didn't have this album even on CD. And now I have two on vinyl. So very cool. Uh, my first pick, my first Eddie. Uh, the second pick, uh, I think. To, uh, Dale showed this one and I love this. I got the Digipack edition 
for in somewhere in time. Who doesn't love this image? Uh, edgy, futuristic, edgy, very cool, a lot of details. Um, I'm looking forward to get this one on vinyl again. I used to have in the past, I sold it, and now it's kind of rare to, to find. And when I do find, it's very expensive. <laughs> so I'm waiting for the right uh, time for that to, to get these on vinyl, but I will eventually. And my last pick, it's um, actually a compilation. It's called Edward the Great. And I really like this imagery, uh, edgy, like in the throne, uh, surrounded by uh, wolves or white dogs. <laughs> he is very if I, uh, laughing. I, I, I find this very interesting image. And I don't know if you guys have this. Um, in other countries this is a Brazilian version uh, doesn't have it's strange it doesn't have Iron Maiden logo in the cover and it's so poor that only have like a, a simple page without nothing in the back so poor but anyway I got this in a used bin, very cheap. Uh, it's compilation, all the classics, and there is um, Fear of the Dark here, uh, live when they played here in Brazil on Rocking Rio. I think it's the same version for, for the live album, but anyway, I'd like to mention that a compilation by. Iron Maiden with a very eccentric and very rich King Eddie. So there you go, my two answers. Uh, the answers for the first two questions and the last one, a shout out to a VC member under 500 subscribers. So I will do a shout out for someone that I'm pretty sure that loves Iron Maiden and also loves female in rock, hard rock and heavy metal. His channel name is Female Metal Fan. So right now I just checked it. Uh, he is um, he has 99 subscribers. So I hope to get him over. Uh, 100 with this shout out if you don't follow him he's a guy from Europe I think from uh, Holland I think um, in the beginning uh, he was not very comfort comfortable in front of a camera but he's getting better and better and he has a very cool and a large collection so please go there check him in check him out and give him a sub so that's all for this video and don't forget to check Dolphin Dale's channel very cool guy and I'll be back uh, for the end of the year I'm planning uh, at least one big final update because my brother is coming for Christmas and I have a lot a lot of stuff that I want that I got I I can't wait to put my hands on so many stuff that he's bringing to me so that's it for this video and I see you next time Bye-bye.